Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Dawn of Man where my um, characters, my people, are still without clothing um, which you know, happened very at the very end of the last episode as we got into winter so I'm kind of hoping that we can get some raw skin fairly well, we've got some raw skin into dry skin very soon so that we can make some clothes before anyone dies of extreme temperature. We shall see whether that happens or not. Um, so far it's not looking like there's anyone suffering from the cold that I can see. Work area exhausted, obtain flint. Okay, well, let's do that as our first goal. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, run to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, run to hit the subscribe button. Let's get making some clothes after we've made a flint area. In fact, I don't know if there's anything left in the very local area of flint. Got what looks like magma up there. Yeah, for flint we now have to travel quite some distance, I would imagine. Oh, is that some? Wow, that's some just there. Is that? Hang on. Let's cancel that. That is flint, okay. Copper ore. Yeah, I don't think there's any more. That's, I think that is the closest we've got. Copper ore. Oh, there's tree. Oh, there's some flint. Okay, we've got some flint just there. So, we come out of that. There we go. Flint. There's actually two. It's just there. Iron ore. We need to get into the Iron Age for that. Well, quite the Iron Age, but uh, well, probably the Iron Age. We need to get into the Mesolithic era first before anything. And I think, by the looks of it, ah, pottery. So we know we need fifteen knowledge. So we're at four currently. That means we're going to have to survive quite a while and collect lots and lots of stuff, basically. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. And it'll be interesting to see if our followers, our people, survive winter because we're still without clothes. Are we making any? Hoping someone's making some clothes. But that's all we're waiting for now. We're waiting for knowledge points. We're waiting for some warm clothes. And that's about it, really. Let's flint just there. Hang on. Let's. Whoops. I think someone's come to. No. I think we're good. Yeah, let's do that one. That one disappears now, I believe. No, it's still there. So let's remove that one for now. Because I don't want to travel too far in the winter. Okay, well, there isn't much going on at the moment, so I'm going to come back in a few minutes and hopefully stuff will have happened. Something will have happened. Okay, so we've made it through to spring. Yes, so we're halfway through spring. We're a little bit low on food. Um, not too bad. But getting low on food because people are hungry and eating stuff and doing stuff. And the only animal that's really around is there's random ibex. I think I've you know, slaughtered a few of those. There's a cave lion, or there's a bison, ancient bison. 
So I'm going to go for that one. There's three of my people going after it right now. Let's see how well that goes. So let's slow this down a little bit. Ancient bison attack. Hey, we did it without actually losing anyone. So that's awesome. And the ancient bison is going to give us six raw meats and four raw skins. So that's going to keep us going for a little while now. Um, oh, the trader has arrived. Ooh, let's see what we can get from the trader. I'm thinking all oh, your straw, cured meats, flint, dry skin. I'll take your breads. Logs are not really worth it. Leather. Ooh. You know what, let's take all his foods and a couple of those. You know, leather and dry skin is not all that worth it at the moment, I don't think. So, flint. Uh, let's trade a couple. Do we want to cut a couple of logs? Tannin. Flint spear, flint axe, pickaxe, sling. No, I'm going to keep that wooden spear. No, we got. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of those. And. One log. There we go. Done. Yeah, done. So I think that's enough. Then people just have to put that away. So. We're going to do very well on food for a little while now. Um. We're still missing more knowledge points. And I'm waiting for summer, because I'm thinking that I can gather myself loads of blueberries. And what else was there? I can't do rye. There's a pear tree just there. Another one just there. There's a few pear trees. Blueberries. And there's more rye, more rye. Barley. Raspberries. So if I collect these. We're hoping that by collecting 10 of each it will mean I get a knowledge point. Hoping. Um, and the only other thing that I've found is I can slaughter my pet dogs. Yes. The only reason you do that, here you go, 10 of Flint Spears, 1 knowledge point. That's good. Yeah, the only reason you do that is if you're extremely Extremely desperate for food. I'm not that desperate just yet. Ooh, what's that megalosaurus? Hang on a second. The cave bear, the old cave bear. Cave lion. There's something else there. Cave lion. So, that's an old male, that's a female. Let's go for the Megalosaurus because I don't think I've killed one of those just yet. And that'll give me. Oh, it's run quite. Oh, no, it's good. All the other animals are gone. Two of my people are going after it. So hopefully, yes, that gives me another knowledge point and lots more food. So we're up to eight. We need 15 to get to the Megalithic era. We've still got a little bit of work to go, but I think we're doing all right at the moment. Got lots of meat on here, loads of meat. We're gonna need another five ibex. Hunted five ibex. Awesome. So if by hunting, hunt by hunting, by hunting five of each, it also gives you a knowledge point. Collecting ten of each or crafting ten of each gives you a knowledge point. So in actual fact, it's not too difficult to get the knowledge points. It just takes a bit of time. It is now summer actually, so let's slow... Oh, there you go. Tear the skins outfit ten, times ten, one knowledge points. I'm going to collect berries. In fact, let's just 
Connor has died of old age. No. This is not. He just collapsed there. Okay, well, he's probably going to get buried by someone, hopefully. But it's just. Hopefully, he doesn't just, you know, rot there. Let's collect. Let's carry on with collecting stuff. So, raspberries. And then we got some raspberries down here. We'll collect those. And then pears. So, we've got a pear tree just there. We don't want to cut it down. So, if I just collect all of these. Was there another pear tree? I thought there was. It's just that one. Oh, it's just that one. A cherry tree. There you go. We're going to collect some cherries as well. So hopefully that's going to give me what I need. Or most of. Chickpeas. Ah, I need the pulse processing for that. But we shall see whether that does... We're only five away now, so it's not going to take too long. And, yeah, our doggies are getting drinks. There's not much else to be hunted around, although I think we're all right on food for a little while. And with the amount of vegetables, sorry, fruits that we're harvesting, we should do pretty damn well on food for winter. Uh, let's change the game speed a second because I need to build no, yeah. another storage tent. So we're going to place this one just here. Oops. Placing that way. Just there. Okay, so that will get built. Uh, Tarnak's body is still there, unfortunately. He'll disappear. Focus camera. Hey, his body disappeared on us. Oh, the camera resets for us. Awesome. Okay, let's follow someone around for a minute. Let's follow my dog around. Look at that. Mental. Screenshot. There we go, he's working hard. He's basically a guard dog. No more storage slots. Yes, because we're building our new storage tents. It's fine. Don't worry. Okay, well let's speed this up and hopefully we'll get to the megalithic era before we get to winter. Cave bear attack. Oh no, 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 no. Someone got injured. How badly? Near, near death. Oh dear. Don't worry. The dogs did their work. So, we don't actually get a knowledge point for taking down a bear. Maybe that's because it's a defense rather than a hunt. And you actually only get three raw meat from it. So that's not good at all. Someone will be along to butcher that soon anyway. Okay, back on track. This is nearly built. <laughs> Done. Ah, we've got three storage tents. Gets us a knowledge point. That is good to know. So we're up to 11. We just need four more. And that hopefully is going to come from the fruits that we're harvesting. Anyway, I think I'll in a minute when we hopefully have the knowledge points required. Oh no, someone's infected. No, someone is infected. Oh no, she's going to die because we haven't got any medicines. So we're going to lose another person as long as she gets those... No, she, no, she has got the sticks back. She's going off to perish by the looks of things. Yep, yeah, she died of her infection. Yeah, that come from the cave bear attack. Never mind. We're down to 12 people now. That's not good. Hopefully we get some new people soon enough. We shall see. 
Yeah, let me come. Let me bring it back when we're a little bit closer to getting what we need. Uh, population of 15. There we go. Three knowledge points. That's awesome. So we, population of 15. Population reach of 15. Hang on. It's only 14. The game can't count. I'm guessing that's because the dead body's still here. So technically. We were 15-ish, maybe 14 and a half. Anyway, we've got three knowledge points, so we're one away. I will bring it back when we get that one. Okay, so we have our 15 knowledge points that came from hunting our fifth reindeer. So we're now into the Meso yeah, Mesolithic era, and we can dig a well. Maybe? Ah, trader has arrived, pottery unlocked, and transportation. Hang on, let's do the trader first. So, what do we want? Flint spear, no, skins, outfit, bones, straw, logs. I'll take your two pulses. I'll take all your straw. We've got loads of bones. So have some of those and a log. I think we're good. Ten times straw, one plus one knowledge. Awesome. Right. Humble beginnings. There we go. There's our lovely village. Uh, transportation. Transport will greatly increase the efficiency of our of your settlements. Some resources like logstone, copper ore, tin ore, and iron ore are heavy and difficult to carry around. So only adults can transport these at very slow speeds, one at a time, and with a penalty to morale. Sledges and carts solve this problem. Awesome. And obviously tent straw. So, let's slow the game down a second so that we can look at what we Build. Nothing new in residence. Nothing new in storage. Production. Food dryer, skinning, crafter, hearth, tanner. Nothing new there. Spiritualism, nothing new there. Ah, so we've got to. Yes, transport is there. those so we can get the flint sickle so that we can actually uh, yeah probably sled the sledge would be handy sledge make it but not entirely needed right now grain processing holes processing although both of those would help us and give us lots more foods but we need seven seven more knowledge points so Basically, a little bit more waiting around. And we're into winter. We're halfway through winter, actually. Now, whilst we're here, I might as well see what happens when I do this. It's not recommended. I don't like doing it. But I want to know if I get a knowledge point for it. I am going to slaughter one of my old dogs. This will be the only time I do it, unless it gives me knowledge points, then I'll only do it if I'm really desperate, which I'm not at the moment, but this is just a test. So let's see what happens when I click on that. Oh, dog has been slaughtered. We get one meat from it, so that's actually quite desperate, and we got no knowledge point for it. Now I feel really guilty for doing it, but it was a test, and you know it had to be done. 
Never mind. Don't worry. All the other dogs are safe. Now back to more grinding. It's winter, so... What are we looking at doing? You see, there is no animals around here. We're going to have to start travelling really far to find any more animals. I did find a... Ooh, what's this? Young bison cave lion. Are they actually sleeping together? Well, that's going to make a weird mix come summer, isn't it? And I saw this. There's this other lake over here. And this is where all the animals are. We've basically scared off all the animals over to that lake. There's nothing else around here. I saw one cave lion just here. And uh, there's some um, mouflon up here. Adult male. As long as there's another adult male, we're good. There is not. This is it. We're going to start running out of meat um, animals soon if we keep hunting them all because they're not going to have a chance to reprocess, reproduce, and give us more animals. Luckily, the map is quite big. Rather big. There doesn't seem to be many animals on the map. Okay, do I go for do I go for that animal? In fact, how are we doing on food? We've got some on the dryer. That might be all the meat. I oh, know we have some meat in there. Some dry fish. There's some fish in there. And there's not much in there. So no, we're not going to have enough, unfortunately. Let's go for it. And we got a knowledge point for it, because it's our fifth one. Oh, it's a cave, cave bear attack. Damn it. Hang on. Let's go to... Man, no, not manage. Yes, defense. Everyone, defend. Or run away. You haven't got a weapon. There we go. There's some things going in. Oh, he's nearly dead, that guy. We got the kill, but only just. Okay, let's uh, come out to defense. So we got one mouflon over here and one bear over here. We now have plenty of meat. For now, anyway, until we eat it all. Although, I think. Where is he? He's probably hiding... No. The guy that got injured by the cave there, I think he's probably healed. He is... His stamina is low. He needs to watch out. Ah, there he is. He's gone to get some bones. So hopefully, Horgol doesn't get an infection like the last person that got injured in, a, uh, in an attack. We shall see, though. We are still needing three knowledge points. But we are coming out to winter, so that means one more knowledge point. Which means we just need two... Two more knowledge points. And then we shall see... What we go for. Ah, there we go. 100 meat gets us one more knowledge point. Coming out to winter gets us one more knowledge point. So we're actually only needing one knowledge point from somewhere. What can we get? Stones or flint? We haven't got a hundred of those knowledge points just yet. So maybe we start gathering lots and lots of stone or flint just for the knowledge. Be a bit wasteful, but we can do it. Let's do a little bit more hunting. Let's speed things up a little bit. Okay, 
So we've survived winter and we killed a lion. Now we didn't get any. Okay, so we don't actually get a knowledge point for taking on the lion. That sucks. Or maybe it's just that it isn't the first or the fifth or whatever. That's probably what it is. Yes. Okay, well, since we're so close, but we're not quite going to get it at the moment, I'm going to end this video now, and I shall bring you back in the next video, hopefully with a few skill points to spend, because there's not much else I can do for the moment other than let the game run and gather me some skill points by not doing much apart from idling, basically. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos, remember to hit the subscribe button. But until next time, have fun and enjoy the rest of your day.